first keyframe you want to add a shake and copy my settings for the first keyframe here i'll zoom it in yeah i'm pretty sure i just changed up the x shake and the y shake settings and then as you can tell there's a scale too you can add a scale later on i'll explain more of that but you want to move 20 keyframes in front or 20 to 25 it depends to you how it looks then for the next keyframe you want to follow my settings here too And I'm pretty sure I just changed the amplitude for this part. And then you can't you can't forget about the the, gr the graphing and the curve of the graph basically. So make sure you put easy ease onto it first if you don't have the flow plugin. And then yep, there it is. Just copy that. I'll zoom it in for you guys there. Boom! Yeah, just copy this for your shake. Now talking about the scale here that you can see. You want to add one at the very beginning and one at the very end of your frame of your own your clip but that's up to you too you can change that however you want to to make it look better just whatever fits for you you don't have to copy my settings right up like one to one but yeah, just put the last one to the normal keyframe and the first one zoom it in a little bit copy this graph you know this little curve just slow out and then this way you got yeah Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to be posting a bunch more tutorials soon because I see you guys have been watching that one. And if in any videos that you guys see, you want to recreate that edit, just comment down below on that edit and I'll try my best to make you guys an uh, explanation of that effect. But you guys have a good day. See ya.